flower friends. It's Nicole from Flower Hill Farm. I'm covered in dirt, which is pretty normal if you've seen any videos of mine. I just finished a planting session in the hoop house with two of my friends, Lisa and Ash, and it went amazing. I'll show you guys what we did in just a second. But first though, our snow is almost gone, revealing some future flowers. There's the peony field. I'll have to get it closer. Oh, I see them from here. I see peonies poking up and then down here. Got some daffs. The daffs continue. I mean, if you guys are new here, then you might not know this, but I have thousands of perennial daffodils. Thousands. This is about a 50 foot row. I have multiple 50 and 75 foot rows. And then I have about a 200 foot row of daffodils down there. All right, let's check out. Okay. Here's the hydrangeas. These are all gonna need to be trimmed. Uh, they look fantastic. They really did winter over well, not a lot of breakage, but it doesn't matter anyway, because I'm trimming all of these. Boop. That's the first half. There's a the second little section. The other half of the hydrangeas, the field in total. I have about 200 limelight hydrangeas. Looks like the, uh, the deer did some trimming on these hydrangeas for me. And then over here I have smoke bush. These are all smoke bush trees. Obviously it doesn't look like much. Looks like the deer also um, did some munching on those, but what are you gonna do? I can't fence in my whole yard, even though I tried. I see a newly planted peony poking up. That's great. The old ones probably are too, but they have some uh, weed cover. Probably have to start moving away some of the leaf litter. I have my slippers on. <laughs> probably should have put something else on. All right, here's the good news. The anemones look amazing. Let me get a close look. They look so good. Starting to put out new growth, lots of new stuff. Had a little bit of early frost damage from that one night where I didn't cover them and it was wet. It got down to 12 degrees. That just tells you how hardy these plants are. And then over here, this ranunculus looked awful three weeks ago and it's starting to look really, really good again. Lots of new growth that got hit with that same 12 degrees. And then this stuff is the more newly planted stuff. This got hit with 18 degrees. No, was it 15? I think it got down to 15 degrees. This is just my life right now. I totally forgot that I needed to cover this stuff. So there's a lot of damage in the middle. Look how filthy I am. A lot of damage on the end, but everything is still alive. Even the ones that are heavily damaged, we have a lot of fresh growth in the middle. But these are right on track for this area. I didn't see ranunculus until right around Mother's Day last year. So we still have about six more weeks before we expect to see any really flowers. If I get a flower earlier than that, awesome. But that's kind of what I'm expecting. Look at this, like it's it's so bad, but it's it's still alive. It's gonna be okay. Ugh, maybe not all of them. I might lose two, three, four, five, who knows. But all in all, it's my fault. It'll be okay. And here's a look at what we got done today. And I'll show you guys the clips of us planting it. So we started with feverfew, feverfew down about 15 feet. And then we started stock and stock is the rest of that row. And then here in the middle, I did snapdragons to start, started here. See that heard nova netting. I did that for spacing. I did two in each hole that netting stopped there, but I continued the row another 18 inches or so, maybe two feet and went down. So the rows actually a lot wider than the netting is and then went down here and then we ended up i ended up fighting another tray of fever few so i plugged that in and then we did poppies those are the poppies that i started from my own saved seed so yep that's it i've got more stock down there to put in and then i also have the stuff that i'm direct sowing right here over here i'm still debating on what i want to put because i did lose some of the stock to the aphids so about those aphids, the first hour that my help was here, we spent in the basement dunking it in soapy water. We dunked it, we rinsed all the aphids out, and then we brought it out here to plant. The plants look really healthy themselves. They were just covered in those little annoying insects. The insects are gone. We hosed everything out, we dunked everything out. Everything looks fantastic. Hopefully we will not have an aphid issue in the cut flower hoop house.
they're really bouncing back nicely. And you know, some people would see that brown bronchulus and think, oh my gosh, I really ruined everything. It'll be okay. I'm honestly not that worried about it. It's, it's April 3rd. It's April 3rd. My grandpa's birthday is tomorrow, by the way. So you can wish him an early happy birthday um, on this video today. But as, as horrible as it looks, I'll show you, there is, there is hope. Look at that. <laughs> Completely dead. No, it's alive. It's alive. <sighs> Same thing over here. Same thing over here. Same thing over here. So while they look dead, there's 100% life on at least half of them. <laughs> I actually have two more trays of ranunculus in the basement that I can plop in where things actually did die. So no worries, still lots of ranunculus to go around, lots of anemones. I mean, this is, I would say five times the number of anemones that I grew last year. People ask about voles all the time. I use Repel-X, which I'm gonna sprinkle on um, in just a few minutes. I have this, it's right here. Let me bend over and get it. This is like an all natural, 100% pet safe. It smells like hot peppers. It's actually quite nice. <laughs> Close up the hoop house, come in here. It smells like I'm brewing a pot of chili. Really helpful for the molds and bowls. I know some people say they don't have luck with it. So far, so good for me. All right, guys, I am gonna go water these in. I watered already this first section. I'm gonna water the back section and uh, my hoses are temporarily hooked up. It's still too cold for us to have outdoor hoses left outside. Uh, we're still getting down into the teens at night. Hopefully that's over with. We might, it looks like the next 10 days are a little bit more mild, so, uh, but still not mild enough to leave hoses outside. Therefore, I am temporarily hooking up my hoses and still bringing them inside at night. It's a little bit extra work. I did buy drip tape for in here. I have yet to install it. That's coming soon. I hope <laughs> because watering takes a long time. I just wanted to give you guys a quick farm update. Things are moving along. The tulips are up. The daffodils are up. Things are happening. We should have fresh flowers. I don't know. In a month? Cross your fingers that we get them at least a month from now. <laughs> okay, that was it for this short update. Thanks for sticking around, guys. We'll see you soon. The ranunculus damage, let me clarify. The ranunculus damage is twofold. It was hit with real cold and then this past Saturday it was 70 degrees out and I never vented the, ho the hoop house because I had um, open house at the nursery. So I was totally distracted and forgot to do that. So that's my bad. It got hit with the too much hot, too much heat and too much cold. Tulips, tulips all the way down about 75 feet of tulips. Unrelated, related content. <laughs> my strawberries in my raised bed look fantastic. It's been, you know, it hasn't been the most mild of winters. I'm just gonna leave all this stuff here, but yeah, these look amazing. Wow. Really happy with the strawberries. Year one done. Almost time. The snow is gone. We bought a new attachment for the tractor this year, and that would mean we'll have drip tape and irrigation on all of the cut flowers. Cross your fingers that my well can keep up. lavender so this year I decided not to cover it because I thought you know what that's too much work and it's fine and we had cold so I'm just going to trim this back and this fresh lavender it's gonna look great all of it looks just like this it's deceptive because it looks a little gray but it's all green the lilacs that I put in a couple of years ago that were really tiny are starting to get, they're a couple of feet tall now. Oh, that wind is just killing today. It's hard to see, but there's a whole row of them. Hold on. It's a 150 foot row, guys. 
but I'm reducing it to just that one row of lavender because it's just not serving a purpose. There are other things that I can put in here that would be more beneficial for my farm. So I'm gonna keep the first row of lavender and then the next three rows, four and a four rows. I'm gonna have to figure out something else to put there that's gonna be more beneficial to my farm. Sorry if it's windy, guys. Gotta get back on my wheeler, get inside. Trying to block the wind. It looks great. Like I said, I'm not covering it this year. Guys, remember the flower forest I planted? Well, I don't really see anything that I planted. I mean, it's awfully early yet. We're just waking up here. It's very, very early. I know we have columbines because they bloomed last year and I can see their foliage, but I have yet to see any of the hellebores that I planted down here. So this is an area where there's a lot of columbines that I planted. The Christmas fern's doing fine. Remember the Christmas ferns that I planted? You can see those actually right here. There's a Christmas fern and right here, there's a Christmas fern. There's one right there. There's one right there. Where was the fifth one? I only planted five. Um, the fifth one's around here somewhere. They're doing very well. And I'm assuming, oh, maybe that's a Christmas fern. I'm assuming the columbines are under the leaf litter still. Columbines have very distinct um, foliage, so I'm sure they're under here and they will be coming up. But I'll check back in when I notice any greenery coming through. All right, that's quite the update, don't you think? Just wanna remind people, it's the nature coach in me. If you're gallivanting through the leaves and stuff like this, please check for ticks when you get back inside. Ticks are scary. Dang, you look good. They look good. Better at this. Oh,